Okay, so I, uh, I will do the crossness uh, uh, now. Um, okay, so the basically uh, we begin with some preliminary. So you have some uh, sequence of uh, representation here, and uh, so for each I, uh, these are uh, strongly uh, combat tame SPC ovipore uh, with these conditions. And uh, all the ends are behaving well, and uh, so uh, and then this converges algebraically uh, with H is this Christian uh, faithful representation, and the uh, K converges to, uh, I mean, the closure of omega I converges to some K uh, compact properly convex domain with an empty interior. Uh, then the co uh, quotient of uh, the limit is again the strongly tame SVC. So all we fall with the generalized ends and Horace Baker end here. Okay, so um, so the, these are uh, needed in the, as a technical uh, thing uh, here. So the uh, basic proof is that the uh, um, uh, so the quotient will of course be uh, something homotopy equivalent to the strongly tame ovipore, but uh, may not be the strongly tame. So what you do is you have these, uh, so so we know that we have these R and and then T and the already uh, holonomies are like that. So so we construct these uh, things in, inside here, uh, and then they their boundary will intersect only in some sort of a compact uh, finitely many intersections. Okay, so you you construct these objects which are candidate P neighborhoods, and then the uh, we, we show that they're actually uh, embedded. So the way to do it is to consider these correction and then show that they only intersect in the finitely many times up to some, um, uh, in, in the up to the fundamental group itself, right? Because uh, you can always change these things. So then, uh, so then this candidate and neighborhood can be made to be Real neighborhood by because we, there's a parameters of these, so you can make it uh, further and further away. So, so once we have that, then the, then you can remove these, and then these are uh, homotopy equivalent compact ovipore, so they they have to be uh, diffeomorphic. So, so then the then uh, so then uh, we go to the strand, uh, strand, standard arguments. Okay. And the next theorem is the uniqueness. So if you have some um, holonomy of the, uh, so that this uh, quotient is a strongly tame SBC ovipore, uh, then this o, this domain omega, it has to be unique up to some antipodal map. Okay, uh, as long as these um, ends are, uh, I mean, end then the, these informations are determined up to the antipodal maps. Okay. So again, these uh, you you just need to consider. Uh, so if there are any two which are uh, intersecting non empty open set, then uh, then these intersections are also n cells, and they have to be homotopy equivalent. And these are all uh, you know the n types here, uh, so you can uh, easily show that they really have to be the same. Okay, and uh, if these are um, because the Horace Baker, all, all these informations are very uh, give giveable here, and uh, uh, so uh, so if the antipodal uh, omega one and antipodal meets, then they also have to be the same by the similar reason. Uh, so if they are really disjoint, uh, then you can actually show that this is or this is actually compact uh, subset of lower dimension. Uh, that's because you can, uh, so there are some proximal elements you can uh, approximate, uh, make uh, to act so that they have to intersect. Okay. okay uh, so the main result is 11.33. Uh, uh, so you have these uh, uh, home, and then there are these uh, sections. Um, then the, uh, so you look at the C def, the inverse image of this in the isotopy deformation space, and uh, uh, you look at the U tilde also in the home space itself, not not the quotient space. Um, uh, ah, so U tilde not denote the inverse image here. So we we know these are uh, sort of uh, 
th this will be the homeomorphism uh, onto union components. Um, so the uh, uh, so basically, so uh, we know the uh, whole, this is open because of the previous work, uh, but now we show this closed. Um, so you have some uh, sequence of elements so that H are converts to H and, uh, and and so on. So um, so if this converges to some compact convex set, uh, that's pretty clear, but uh, if it has empty interior, then H is reducible. But the uh, thing is that we require these to be S, so it's not re reducible. So so uh so it it's not empty and it's not properly so maybe it's not properly convex okay again in the properly convex case non properly convex case there is some maximal gray segment in the boundary which is uniquely determined so this is uh, where h also has to act so it's not going to be again reducible so that that's another contradiction so, uh, so therefore, the, this uh, will will work out. So you can now the, take the quotient. So omega zero has to be properly convex, and then the uh, then these these will be uh, uh, then the by previous this theorem you can show is uh, is like this. Okay. Uh, okay, and. Uh, So, uh, uh, so, so then uh, we go to S step case. Uh, then the basic point is that uh, uh, so we know this is a relatively hyperbolic, and uh, um, so the result uh, will be again something with the relative hyperbolic fundamental group. So uh, by this theorem, the and this limit is also S B C O E four. So, uh, so that is the same. Okay, uh, so now the um, important thing, uh, next thing is that we can actually uh, drop S, so this stability condition, so we can actually show that it's actually the union of components of this uh, in, in a view, uh, you don't really need this uh, U condition. Um, yeah, so this off is, uh, you, you don't need this off, so you, you can drop this off here. And so it works for S C depth. This is again the union of components, and the S depth uh, again the union of components like this. And uh, uh, basically, again, you uh, want to work with this clo closeness argument again. And uh, so we have some uh, H I converging algebraically, and the uh, uh, so the limit is a discrete representation by Goldman Milson. So the point is, if you don't have any uh, this uh, finite index subgroup, uh, then the uh, finite index non-trivial uh, normal subgroup, then the then this limit is again discrete phase four. Okay, so that's the uh, lemma uh, of uh, Goldman and Milson. And um, again, that's a very strong uh, theorem. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, so then the basic problem is this this may converge to some convex compact set, but maybe it has empty could have empty interior or maybe not properly convex. But uh, so um, uh, so that's a problem. So the first step is to show that at least one of these K or K dual is has a non-empty interior, okay? and then. Uh, so, uh, so to show that if you have a radial n, uh, then the uh, then this is uh, this radial n itself, uh, and then the converge to the uh, type doesn't become horse spherical, then you can just keep having radial n's. So you can uh, construct for the h this uh, lens cone, and the this lens cone has to be in the limit of omega zero. Okay, so th therefore it has a K zero has not empty interior. Okay, so uh, so that that's the argument here, and uh, uh, so on. Um, so if the uh, total geodesic P n exists, then uh, I take the dual. Okay, so that that will work here. Okay, so I I skip the argument here, but uh, but it, suppose that there's some. Uh, we go uh, changes and then becomes a horror spherical. So that's the case we need to worry about. And uh, 
Uh, so then this limit is uh, for this uh, sigma tilde is uh, complete affine and uh, so uh, so the uh, limit is actually a lattice in the cost group. So so we have some virtually abelian uh, fundamental group. And the point is that now we look at the maximal segment in the uh, reasonably good directions. And uh, if these, uh, so this geometric limit of this sequence has a non-zero limit, uh, non the limit has a non-zero limit, then you can uh, use this to construct a non-empty interior, okay? So only way is that these these all go to zero. Okay, the lengths all go to zero, and that that uh, forces you to uh, say that the k actually. Uh, so now now if you have this condition case, uh, then the k actually converts to point. Okay, singleton. So k is a singleton. But now you take the dual, and then dual actually now goes to a hemisphere. Okay, so that's by this proposition. Okay, so so uh, up to changing this, we can show that K is uh, some sort of uh, um, has a non-empty interior. So so we show that it K has to be properly convex domain. Okay, and then that of course means that K dual is so or so. So if it's not uh, properly convex, uh, then you can uh, so assume that this is in the, some affine space. Uh, I mean, convex open domain. So, uh, so then omega i, you can arrange it by some orthogonal map so that uh, these ki converge to identity, but it's still in the same affine subspace. And uh, uh, then you can still uh, say that uh, these converge to k. Okay. Okay. And, uh, uh, so, uh, so one thing is that this H I G K, but if you take the uh, some uh, origin, then this will move to the boundary by some uniform uh, with uniform constant. Okay, for for these all of these omega i, so independent of i. Okay. Uh, so the reason is because if if not, then there is a segment in the boundary uh, which is sent to the segment here. Um, with endpoints and the lying in the shortest D length segment to the boundary omega. So this length goes to zero. So this means the HJI is uh, blowing up. So there's a contradiction. So th therefore this is at least true. And uh, so uh, so now we can show that uh, uh, this uh, omega I has, uh, by this estimation that the, this is actually uh, bounded. Um, in omega i, so so these these things will converge to some complex uh, convex set. So now I can uh, actually say that this converges in the Schabati topology. Uh, maybe I should say CL here, I guess. but doesn't really matter. But uh, so now it's only convex domain in uh, sorry, this should be domain in H zero, close in H zero, not everywhere. Uh, uh, so K1 is a, a properly convex domain, then the, we are do done, and the, then the, this is uh, this is fine. Okay, so X0 is, so suppose K1 is uh, not a bounded uh, properly, uh, so so we can assume that K1 is not bounded, okay? Uh, because bound, bounded is uh, weaker than the properly convex, okay? So we have this omega I converging to K1, and uh, then there exists some uh, sequence of uh, max uh, MI in the MAC diagonalized group, fixing X0 as a largest norm, and then acting on H0, and this converges to a properly convex uh, domain in X0 with the interior. So you can find this uh, normalization, uh, and so on. Uh, so the... Uh, uh, so the basic idea is for n, n equal to one, it's uh, very clear what, what you can do. And uh, so if you, if not, then the, um, you choose uh, some uh, R balls, which are in uh, contain maximal one and then uh, minimal RI so that these RI go to infinity. So you can find some normalization. So fixing X zero so that this ball, it becomes a ball of radius one. 
And the show button limit is uh, cannot be complete at fine because it cannot go to H0 because you can, there's some hyperplane here. And if the limit is pro uh, not properly, uh, sorry, this is properly come back, sorry, not drop not, then we, we are, of course, uh, go to, can go to next step. So if not, then the this limit is not properly come back. So it should be some K times the affine space. So I'm using some Euclidean structure here for some uh, properly convex domain. K in the K A prime, A prime is uh, uh, some affine space orthogonal to each other here. And you look at the orthogonal projections like this. And uh, uh, so, uh, so now we look at the projection of omega i to this uh, plane A, uh, then the, this, uh, uh, a, a, then you can choose Li to be the, uh, so you choose this maximal uh, R I prime uh, in, in contained in here, and then this Li to be this uh, radius, okay? So, uh, so then the, this will always contain this uh, radius one ball, and so this converges to uh, some Schobati cross set containing this, here, I mean, the, for the A prime direction, there's nothing changing. So, okay, so for, uh, so the, these are just uh, on the A, A, A direction, okay, in A. Yeah. Um, so, uh, okay. Uh, all right, uh, so may maybe Li should be uh, only uh, have an eigenvalue lambda i for a and then one for a prime, right? Sorry. Okay, so then this converts to uh, convex containing this b one x zero a prime. So and then the and then you can choose. Uh, you can show that uh, therefore uh, this this has a non-empty interior and uh, uh, so uh, containing this. So uh, si Schwabati converges to this set. And uh, so it is contained in the B times A for some uh, prop, uh, properly convex set uh, of A prime. Uh, so it may not be bounded, but it's uh, here. And, and then the, so so this limit again is in the BA because the, this doesn't change anything in A prime direction, okay? So uh, so then the, uh, by induction hypothesis, you can find M prime I again, so that this projection to A Schwabati converges to properly convex domain in A. Okay. So the uh, so if this uh, K1 or any Schwabati li limit up to any step is properly convex, then we can just take that the Li and this rest of to be M uh, identity map. So therefore, uh, this will converge to some uh, cross convex set here, and uh, and the and and then, and then each point of D is properly convex, but over uh, there's at least one point of this limit in this uh, point uh, over this point, and again you can choose uh, a plus one point in general position in D, uh, and then there's some point above it. And then this side is never changed B1 in A prime. So they, they uh, so then you can join this with this. Uh, so it has never non-empty interior. So this proves the claim. Okay, so then, uh, so we have some properly convex domain. So we can use some bounded uh, one so that uh, acting on X0, uh, but now you move H so that these are now inside this tau I omega is in these two balls which are one and some bounded are, are radius four. Uh, so, and then this X here. And, um, and then the, these, uh, so for each generator, they, they always move X zero to some uh, YJ. And YJ is uniformly bounded away from this tau I of the boundary, okay? Because of this, uh, this thing I proved here, right? Okay, I mean, the, this, this thing. Uh, and so, uh, so, so therefore, uh, th this also forces everything to pushes everything to X zero. So therefore, it happens like this. Uh, 
Okay, so uh, or or be identity somewhere. So so then you can use this theorem uh, that the, when x zero is the origin and you have this situation, then this is always uh, in the compact set. Okay, so so the, this will all converge to some uh, bounded algebraic holonomy homomorphism. And uh, uh, so if tau i is not bounded, then you can always make this into uh, ki di ki prime. So where di is diagonal and these are orthogonal by the KTK decomposition of this group. And uh, so if, so you can always make this orthogonal part to go converge. Uh, so the, so this is really just the considering the, these things converging with this. And, uh, but th this will, uh, always, uh, converge to this. But if these di's are not bounded, then this is actually limit has to be reducible because if you look at the uh, diagonal element like this, uh, and then some are ratio go to zero, then the, basically you see that these matrices will converge with the matrix with the entries here being zero. Okay. So that means it's reducible. So that's a contradiction. So therefore these are all has to be conversion. Okay. And, uh, so di is our conversion. So therefore, uh, so this cannot be reducible. So therefore, everything works, and uh, you can get this uh, limit here uh, using this uh, original lemma eleven point three one. Okay, so that's the argument. And uh, so the finally, uh, some uh, you can do this without the uniqueness part. So you can drop the u here and. Uh, so you can just define these sections uh, to fix point. Uh, unfortunately, not to S N, but only to R P N now or R P N two R. Uh, uh, right. Uh, uh, right. Uh, or also can do for S N S N two R. Okay. So the reason is um, this uh, by these two uh, propositions. So the uh, this proposition says uh, you have a uh, uh, N has you have lens or horse spherical and see the the fixed point uh, that makes it the lens or or the lens vertex or the hyperplane ha is uniquely determined by these lenses. Okay, so that was the proposition here. So, and then uh, you show that the limit, these are also both continuous here. And uh, uh, these, again, that's a property of some, uh, you have to do some argument here. And, uh, and then, so this means that the unique uh, section always exists for these. Okay. So then the, so the, since these uh, sections work, then uh, everything will work out uh, correctly. Okay. Right. Um, okay. So that's the uh, end for today. Right. Uh,